Alright, the growing season for most of the stuff I'm interested in working with is pretty much over for 2021. And now it is time to get started on some uh, winter experiments and projects. Starting with one of our newest interests, the common mallow, also known as Malva neglecta, or as I like to call them, yard mallows. We discovered this past summer just how good and useful these are. And they also make neat uh, decorative indoor plants, and that's what this little project is. Um, doing a little test to see how uh, the best way is to germinate and otherwise get started to new mallow plants from their seed pods. <coughs> So first, the ones that are already in the uh, lid there uh, were ones that I had pulled several days ago. I mean, I was going to start this video earlier, but I got busy with other stuff, and so they got to uh, dry and cure a little more than I was hoping before starting uh, recording. So I also plucked uh, three fresh ones from the front yard as well to add to the mix here. So first I already poked holes in the seed pods. Some of them I got uh, most of the seeds actually hit. Uh, I'm sure I missed a few but it's not going to matter too much. Uh, I'm going to just try to keep them damp instead of uh, having them swimming. There. And now we'll put in the fresh ones as well. I'm not sure if we'll really be able to tell a huge difference in the time when they... Uh, uh, I might be able to keep them separate, but we'll see. In this last one, I need to go ahead and poke a bunch of the seeds. Because that sort of helps uh, as like a catalyst that actually gets them going once. I don't know exactly how it works, but pricking them does seem is supposedly what you want to do first. Yeah. This is also testing to see how uh, fresh and green they can be and still uh, germinate. The first one of these that grows out is going to get to be a companion for the spider plant that I've got growing in my room underneath the, the window. The others, I don't know, we'll see what we do with them when the time comes. I will also be making a time-lapse video of these as they develop. Just because I like doing time lapses. They're going to be joined very soon by a winter sunflower project as well, which I'll probably get started on right after I'm done with this. Uh, anyway, I will report in again once we actually see some activity here and see at least one of these start sprouting. Till then, thanks for looking and
feel free to support my sponsor, which is me, as I try to sell you stuff on my uh, eCrater, eBit, and Etsy stores. Links are in the description, as usual.